excited because our guest is up in the studio. We have none other than DJ Toon. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning. Good morning. Nikki. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you so much for coming through. I'm quite excited because I do remember December 20th, a big date for you, the blackout. <laughs> yeah. You had so many people up in that venue, yeah? And I was like, oh, okay, let me go through. Let me pop it. Do you know? I walked in. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, was... So... Other than a DJ, obviously you have to wear many hats for that venue and for yeah. that event, yeah? Yeah. So what's it like taking a step back from the turntable and actually putting together an event? Um, it's 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 definitely a lot of work and um doing it by myself was, was a bit difficult, mm -hmm. but I, I thank God for taking me through the night. But um I was just happy to be out here for the first time and actually that was my first event in, in Lagos. Oh really? Yeah, wow. I never did an event here. So just just uh, for the people to show love like that and yeah. have so many artists come out and just um just bigging up the platform, I'm really thankful for everybody that came out. It was really really like I I couldn't even believe it. You know, I was mm -hmm. promoting from New York and you know what I mean I didn't know who, <laughs> who was going to show up or <laughs> not, but um it was a lot of love in the room and it was a success. People truly showed up and showed yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. So uh, when it comes to being a DJ, we obviously see there's a lot of people like you, there's Neptune, there's exclusive, they're branching into other aspects of DJ. Yes. So do you think that it's necessary for a DJ to be multifaceted when it comes to staying relevant and staying involved in the music industry? It depends on how big you, you want your bag to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there's some people out there, you know, they might be comfortable with what they're doing. Yeah. Um, as for me, I'm not. And um, once you venture into other avenues or different, like, branches, you get to explore and just, you know, find different strengths for yourself. And I feel like, you know, making music is a strength for me and also DJing. So um, always try to be versatile and do more than just, you know, being behind the decks. Amazing, amazing. It's a good thing that you mentioned uh, the bag. Yeah. <laughs> so half of this cast, they get into the game just simply because they want to make a living. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing that for you is some is some sort of uh, a passion that got you into yeah, DJing. Yeah, definitely. But before DJing, was there anything you were doing before then? Um, you know, playing drums in church. You know, every Sunday, just playing for the Lord. Isn't it uh, ironic that most of these artists and started you know, in the church? <laughs> what, what's started the, in the choir. What's the deal? How do you start from the church and then leave the church? Man, um, the church is within me, but uh, <laughs> I want you to be. When was the last time you've been to the church? Wow! I want to know, Tunes. When was the last the, time you the went to church? Is, is within me. I I am my own sanctuary. You feel Amen. Me? So, Amen. Um, with growing up, you know, with Nigerian parents, yeah. you always got to be there every Sunday. That's mm -hmm. right. And I found my <laughs> and some weekdays too. Yeah, some weekdays too. <laughs> my whole study and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, so. I found my strength in playing the drum set and the conga for the church and stuff, and I just kept playing, and I just gained a love for music. So praise and worship was, like, my best time yeah. doing church. Like, Do you also produce? Yeah, I mean, I you have an idea of all this instrumental Yes, definitely, definitely. Instruments. And I work with great, great producers. Shout-outs to Spells, um, Sars, Lyric, Legendary Beats, mm. Guilty Beats. Like, I work with a whole heap of guys that, you know, put me, like, you know, engineer the sound that i'm looking for y'all have something in common and it comes to Starboy. so how yeah. did that come about um shout out to Starboy boy kid um i've been djing for him for about three years now mm -hmm. and um you know he called me for the to, to come on him with this amazing journey um taking this music global mm. and you know that's always been my game plan from the time i started the djing thing just helping you know african music go global um, in New York, it's not really like, or oh, in America, it's not really like a widespread right now, mm -hmm. or like how it is in London, mm -hmm. but um, it's gaining traction. And, um, you know, you could just say I'm one of the pioneers there just pushing the culture and the music. Amazing, amazing. We like that. We got turned up by DJ Tunes, featuring Ricardo Banks, and Whiskey. And right after that, we'll come back and have more conversation with Tunes. Stay with yes. us. Legit repping and rocking all his brands he can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, them is looking quite dope. So go ahead and catch him online. Any who's name of we were talking really quickly off air about why Afrobeats is not as commonly spread in the states as it is in the UK. And you're saying something about we get distracted. Yeah. 
So if you could just expand on that real quick. You said the By trap, hip-hop, Trump. They get distracted. Yeah, they get distracted. <laughs> yeah. They get distracted. yeah. yeah you so know, what makes you say that? You know, with all the stuff on social media, like I said before, um, with the Trumps, the Soldier Boys, the R. Kellys. He's <laughs> yeah, a Soldier Boy. It's just, uh, <laughs> you know, just a lot of stuff happening within um, their culture over there, yeah. the hip-hop culture. People getting just, shot every yeah, day. Yeah, it's just a distraction. Police man. killing blacks. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a distraction, and people don't get to really see what's shining over here, you know. There's so much things shining in Africa, and I feel like little by little we're going to break through because mm -hmm. our bright is so, so strong. Our light is so strong. And, um, yeah, just time, you know, just like I said, just so many distractions, mm. so many. Uh, DJ Envy is on uh, think, Hot 97. Yeah. Hot 97, right? Yeah. You know, recently, the amount of time they get to play the Vito's Fall is like 10 times the average of what they would take, for example, a, a Soldier Boy track. Yeah. How, how is, I mean, how do you, what do you, what do you see in that? Because um, I see it differently. He was there for an interview, and I heard backstories that for you to get up there, you have to have gone through, you know, a process and whatnot. Yeah. 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 And it's like a fee you pay for. Do you think there was a payola <laughs> involved for Fall to be played that often time? Do you know how many no Nigerian fee. songs we have, <laughs> Afro, and why is it only Fall that's being played? Um, Like I said, those guys don't really. Shout out to those guys, but I don't feel like they know the widespread of the music yet. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just going with, with the flow. And shout out to OBO. I don't think any fee is <laughs> a problem for him. <laughs> yeah. But um, he put in the so work. So there was a fee. I, I don't know. Okay. But I'm just saying in general. I don't think there's if a If there fee. was a fee, <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem yeah. for 30 billion guys. Yeah, Makes you sense. feel me? Hey, so, <laughs> Makes sense. Um, I feel like... Um, those guys are just trying to push the culture now and uh, at the same time i'm happy about that mm. but i think ovo put in the work like you know he was on the breakfast club yeah he did a he did a u.s tour about like he did over like 15 shows yeah. in america mm. last year yeah so um he's putting in the work yeah i love you the fact me? that they're trying to push the culture uh dj mv goes to south africa that often never been to nigeria yeah. hopefully he comes here ebro is in ghana like this past December. One person that um, that have made it to Nigeria in recent time has to be uh, Casanova. You know Casanova? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, in prison. Too. Shot a video in Shita right there yeah. and, and Surulair. And it's quite amazing, you know, mm -hmm. having these people come down here it's really just dope. to be a part of the culture. It's really dope. So a lot of people are asking how can we push the culture, whether it be through social media, whether it be through people actually calling in and requesting these songs, or having, like, Nigerians do plugins in the sense that they put themselves in those roles. For yeah. example, there's Daps. He's a director, famous director. Mm. Uh, he's Nigerian, and he's constantly pushing his culture. Yeah. yeah. So how do you think we, as the people who listen to the music, can push the culture over there in the States? That's a dope question. People from here? Yeah. How Man. can we, like, tell them, yo, you have to get on this I mean, stuff? look, you have to come all the way back there. Even though you're Nigerian, you yeah. have to come here and push. Yeah. You know, um, it's... Home is key, man. You know what I mean? But not everyone can go over there to the States and push and plug in. Yeah. How can they do it from over here? Um, You know, collaborating with the right people. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, from, from our side, you know, we just got to keep pushing. Use your platforms to just push as mm -hmm. hard as you can. Mm -hmm. um, as for the artists, I feel like, you know, as they do dope collaborations, you know, thinking about OBO again, he has a collaboration with A Boogie. Yeah. He was on that Casanova track hey, as shout well. Shout out to A Boogie right now. You number know, one album. Number yeah. one. He put out a body of work. That, yeah. that album is... So, you know, with I mean, the features, it's helping out OBO, and then it gives recognition on the Nigerian people and the African people, and then we feel cooler you know what I mean? Because our guy is, is collaborating with, you know, American people. Yeah. So we just have to um, carry the trend, you know, and just yeah. push our guys when they drop those tracks yeah. or those collaborations. We need to just, you know, really, really be proud and be a part of that movement. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the collaborations. Uh, you've been back home for what? Like two? Yeah, two months now, man. Yeah. And you still want to stay till March. Who have you yeah, worked with? Yeah, I'm feeling nice. Um <laughs> <laughs> I've been working with a few guys, man. Um, shout outs to Starboy Terry. We're definitely gonna have a track coming a out soon one. with um no North Boy and Sars. Um, I have this kid named Oxlade. I hope I'm pronouncing his Oxlade name. Oxlade is a yeah. dope artist. Oxlade featured on our homegrown. He's one of the 
the homegrown cast that mm-hmm. we have. Okay. Amazing guy. Yeah, I have His a track with him. Yeah. Mad. Yeah, I have a dope track Shout with Ox, him. Ox Slade. That's going to come out soon. Tell him to keep his head down, though. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, like, keep, keep his head up and shoulders down a little. Okay. Yeah. You know. I mean, to be... Um, he's I need a cool to see cat. Pictures. I don't understand he's what cool y'all are cat. talking about. Oh, no, I'm saying you know when, when you it's that confidence that comes with you knowing your worth. Oh, he cocky with it. You know a little. I'm not saying he's cocky. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you know. Me, I like a little bit of cocky with it. I mean, look, if you're great and you're working with someone like DJ Toons. DJ you know, Toons. The confidence got to be up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> DJ Toons, you know what I mean? So, confidence got to be yeah, up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, I mean, just the young cats. You know, I feel like the young blood in Nigeria is really, really rising. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Barry J. I like, um, who else do I like? I like so, a lot of the young cats. You ever heard up. of this lady, Thames? Thames, no. You ever heard uh Mr. Rebel? Oh, sweet. We're going to put you on some new yeah, music. Well, don't worry. Please put, put me on. We're going to put you on some new music. Shout out to those people, though. I'm Please don't be, don't be mad that I don't. Definitely put I you don't on know. that. Anyways, um, we got to be off right now. But before you go, I, yeah. I have a really important question. If you could, um, I don't think you can answer that in 30 <laughs> seconds. What should we do? Well, we should buy time. We should buy time. We should buy time. Anyways, make sure you guys keep it locked on. We still have DJ Tunes up in the studio, my dear. Okay, we're talking about everything. It's from culture to pushing the culture and everything. Collaborations, you know, how long he's going to be here. March. He's going to be here till March, y'all. I'm out here. I'm in these streets. Hey, that's what's up. So make sure you keep it locked on. Don't go anywhere. He keeps turning around looking at the clock. Oh, because he knows we're looking at the clock. I just want to make sure we're on time. Yeah, we're on time, definitely. Thank you for listening to Hot. Five seconds away FM from playing average. Three point three. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it hot, ninety three. Turn up the speakers. <laughs> DJ Toon. Turn up the speakers. Is your name Tunde? Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know this Baba guy Tunde. from Adam. I was so, I was so <laughs> like, what? I, did, did you know his name was Tunde? Um, yeah, because I did some research. Why on am I the only? Did you read the write up? Oh, you sent a write-up? I sent a write-up. I'm cool like that, you oh, know. Okay, it's cool. all right, all right. <laughs> it's, cool. <laughs> it's cool. Welcome back, bro. Yeah, that's how I got the name, man. Nah. Super excited to have you here. They just yeah. called you Toons. Toons. Babatunde is my name. What, and then... what other nicknames? Like, if I if I hold on to your uh, passport or one of your ID card, what, what names would I find on that? I mean, just uh, my first name is Michael. <laughs> and then my that's middle that name. That's not church. Yeah, my middle name Preach. is Babatunde. Michael so, Babatunde. Yeah, so they just... Preach. It's just um, you know, so many names: Tulampa, Tunes, hey. Tunene, hey. Tunene. <laughs> I like I, so we have and a I just little. It. We have a little game that we play here, right? Okay. It's called well, it's random A predictions, yeah. Okay. And we, you said you actually said one when we were off air, but what Jasper and I do, we just put stuff out there and we say, okay, this is what we feel like is going to happen, and then we check back in and see did it actually happen. So, do you have any random? predictions for us that will happen in the music industry i just feel like our music is about to blow up this year yeah like, oh our music already blown like no nah, i mean like let me remind you of the one you said off air it has to do with a certain lady can we yeah. say it? Can we yeah say it? sure sure go ahead you say it. no i was just saying like tenny she's leading the way for the for the for the female yeah. artists right now and yeah i feel like she's doing a beautiful job and mm-hmm. and um just displaying herself and um, showing her personality. Mm. Um, it's time for our music to blow up. Yeah, like, it's about to for real, for real. Yeah, and I mean like on a global aspect. And um, I think it's it's gonna be real beautiful this year, really beautiful. I think David was just in Rolling Stone, um, and they were talking about you know the whole playing four so many times on the radio in America and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know just doing so many shows last year with Wiz mm. in countries that. I have never been to, <laughs> or you would even think that African music has touched. Yeah. Like, we'd be performing in front of just straight white people. Yeah, and they'd be vibing to it. And they be, they be on it. Like, <laughs> like you know, they be on it. With I'm their own so rhythm, shocked. too. Yeah. With I'm, their own rhythm. Wow. I get, I get so, like, you know, you get goosebumps sometimes. Just yeah. Because you don't know if they really going mess with us or not because most of the time when i'm moving around with wiz we're like the first africans to touch like that kind of stage yeah. right. or like that kind of like environment you know 
um, like for instance, like doing wireless. You know what I mean? So I have to go out before him because, mm-hmm. you know, I got to set up the DJ. So yeah. just look it. I'm like, look, I don't see no African people here. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Are these, are these people really going to vibe with us or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, yo, as soon as the music starts, oh, I call out Wiz, it's over. Like, everywhere is just, is, is just in the air and... People just showing love, screaming yeah. word for word yeah. his music. I'm talking about word for word. Wow. And just to be behind him and just see the crowd reactions yeah. and, and be a part of that movement, it's a blessing. Yeah. And it's amazing what that guy is doing. Like, just putting on for the platform. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. just getting chills right now. And like, that's yeah. kind of like, it. A, it has like a, a, a little ripple effect on you and your career as well. Oh, yeah. So you, you gotta pay. Star Boy you gotta, for life. You gotta pay. Hey. Not, oh, just, yeah. not just for Star Boy, but you gotta for pay Africa. for it. You gotta pay for it as well. Look for some of this amazing, um, you know, artists we have out here yeah. in the country. For sure. And you could do whatever it is in, for sure. in your power. To that's, help why, that's why I'm building the platform like Blackout and doing it here and just having that stage for upcoming artists to do their thing and yeah. just, you know local artists to do their thing um and i want to start something at hard rock it's gonna it's gonna pop up soon like a like a i'm gonna come there once in a while and and just having a a platform for just young artists to do their thing yeah hey man you know hey I, mean? I could i could be your assistant man yeah, i, could I hold don't your, mind your I don't laptop mind. i need, I need as much, I need Wait, as so much help being, as possible if you're being his assistant what what am i going to do <laughs> i'm for the culture you but know what, what, what do i do isn't that what the whole homegrown is about Oh my God. You're with me, man. Nah, I'm with we're you together. doing what? We're, we're a team. Standing right next we're to We're a team him. now. We're you don't a team have to now. hold a bag. Wow. See how we argue on air. <laughs> 19 <laughs> minutes past nine. I Lego City, the coffee gang. Beautiful Nikki, the place to be. Yes. Shout out to DJ Tunes for dropping by. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's love. Thank you so much for having me. Just oh, make sure y'all get welcome. that new turn up on <laughs> all music platforms. DJ Tunes featuring Whiskey and Ricardo Banks. Hot. FM 93.3. You heard DJ Quickly. Tunes in the building. Let's get your socials. Um, DJ underscore T-U-N-E-Z and TunesWeTrust.com. All right. Beautiful thing. We got...